Hi guys, this is uh, Dennis Sepulveda from Remax Crest Realty and I was just sitting with my good friend Cheryl Ackerman from Citywide Mortgage and we were discussing some first steps that a first time homeowner should take uh, when purchasing a home and I thought this would be a great opportunity to share it with you guys. So Cheryl, what is the first and most important step that someone should take when buying a new home? Great question, Dennis. The first and most important step in the process is to get pre-approved prior to shopping. Pre-approved, prior to shopping. So why is it so important to get that done before you start? Well, a couple reasons. I think it's important because it sets expectation for what budget you're going to be shopping with so you can shop confidently. Right. It also can put you in a stronger position once you are um, able to write an offer. Right, so when you have that offer, if you're pre-approved, you're gonna be in a much better position than if you're not. Absolutely. Fantastic advice. So I've heard um, pre-approval and I've also heard uh, pre-qualification. And sometimes people use these words interchangeably, but they're, they're quite different. Can you explain the difference between pre-approval and pre-qualification? Definitely. So pre-qualification essentially is um, a verbal okay that the number uh, for the budget that you want to work with is going to be the number that you're going to be qualified for. This is by no means a pre-approval. Um, pre-approval is a much more robust uh, process. It will include typically an application, there will be income verification, and there will also be some type of credit bureau pulled. Ultimately, once all of that is completed, you will have a commitment letter um, and a rate hold so that you can shop the market right. and be ready to write offers. Right, so very important. Make sure you're getting pre-approval, not just a pre-qualification. Definitely. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, thank you guys for listening. If you have any more questions, please contact Cheryl. Her information should be right below on the link here. Um, if you want to contact me, same as well, just hit the button and, and reach out to me anytime. Um, thanks so much and uh, thank you. take care.